We have a wild, wild one today. Yes, Ren has been dissed. I have also been dissed. We got Battle Rap on deck. We're going to do a full dive and breakdown into this one. Also, if you guys want to stick around to the very end, I'm going to give my unfiltered raw thoughts on the entire situation, what's happened, the past of it, break it down, and kind of how we move forward and where we go from here. So stay tuned. But anyways, without further ado, Ren, sum up to the plate. Let's see what you got. One. We gathered here today. I gotta, I gotta stop it already. I love this setup. Like we're at a funeral service, right? You've got the Scottish bagpipes playing a song of mourning. In this case, he's holding the flowers. He's got the white chrysanthemums, you know, representing loss at a funeral. And we are gathered for the funeral service of, well, we shall see. We gathered here today at the grave of Dot. Here. I bought you some Viagra. You went too soft on me, brother. I must reject tradition. I love the visual trolling, throwing down the Viagra, meant to make you harder. In Ren's case, he feels like, yeah, it was it was kind of soft. And when Ren and I talked, he did say to me, he was like, yeah, I, I was kind of wishing he would have gone in harder. There was nothing really that like got under my skin or got to me. Like he thought it was solid, but he's like, man, I really wanted him to go in so I could really like be motivated to fire back. But let's see where he goes. Viagra. You went too soft on me, brother. I must reject tradition and speak ill of the dead. After Knox decapitated you, or bury the head. Uh. King, don't come. You dumb king, calm down. What's a king without? You see it in the title, but I love that flip. King, dumb, come. You dumb king, calm down. Even the way that he enunciates calm sits in with the uh, the you sound to make that scheme flip. That was smooth. And obviously shouting me out right away, decapitating the head because I had a line on patiently waiting. Better learn your history. Kings, they get beheaded. So he's playing off of that. And he's also addressing a very important question that, you know, he asked me, how do you, how do you kill a dead man? I mean, I, I sent him some books on necromancy. Hopefully he took that to heart and he figured out a way to uh, to make this work. The dead, after Knox decapitated you, or buried the head. Uh. King, don't come, you dumb king, calm down. What's a king without a crown, just a peasant or a clown? Mm. Jealous, little bitch. And for anyone in doubt, he's a jealous little bitch, lashing out to get the clout. King Dot are not a king, I know a crown when it rusts. I don't know if that's a bar, but I'm gonna toss him one in doubt. But he said it, so it sounds like endowed, like a kingdom being endowed or passing it down. But I love that line. Just very simple, but still a nice cutting bar playing off of Dada calling himself king. What's a king without a crown? You're really just a peasant. You're down here with all this. And very dope that we're doing this sort of acapella. It feels like, you know, king of the dot, right? It's, it's very battle rapper style when you have like two people live going at each other and all you have is acapellas but Ren being the musician that he is he's even got to throw in a little bit of a percussive sound just to keep the rhythm driving man this is dope little bit i mean it feels like we're, we're almost in like dada shoes as he's like right here looking at us looking dead on the camera giving us the delivery of the different punch lines and coming through man i love this performance style for a clown jealous little bitch and for anyone in doubt he's a jealous little bitch lashing out to get the cloud king i mean this is this is very different than having a screen that's kind of half covered where you can hide your lyrics in and just performing to that like ren is actually performing to the microphone and to his audience different levels to performance and for anyone in doubt he's a jealous little bitch lashing out to get the cloud king dot i'm not a king i know a crown when it rusts i eat you up then shit you out i call that a royal flush going by the laws of physics when you die you'll come I eat you up, then shit you out. That's a royal flush. So he's flushing the toilet. Also, the card scheme playing off of a royal flush and then still going in on Dada calling himself king and royally flushing this shit through right here. Come on. Oh, I call that a royal flush. Going by the laws of physics, when you die, you'll combust because you've got your own center of gravity, fat fuck. I've seen you play the race card. A Internal combustion uh, confirmed with Dada's... Uh, Mass versus acceleration versus internal force of gravitational pull right there. Got your own center of gravity, fat fuck. I've seen you play the race card a couple of times, mm. saying people only fuck with me because I am white. Mm. And then you go and backtrack and you say I'm all right. 
You're feeling mixed in your emotions, like a horny ex-wife. The reason people don't... Feeling horny in your emotions like a jealous, like a very confused ex-wife. Should I get back with him? Should I not get with him? But yeah, this flip-flopping is also what I kind of called him out for because his first video of me was to play the race card against me. Surprise, surprise. And then go after me and in a way kind of go after my career, try to get me canceled in a sense, try to paint me with a broad brush before he even dropped a disc, before he did anything on me. And it's really funny to see that flip-flopping. I think even with the beef itself, like when I dropped my stand disc, his response was, you know, it was whack, it was trash. Then he started seeing the reactors react to it and pump it up. He started seeing the fan response. So then he had to like flip it in kind of 180. And then he started saying that I had like a ghostwriter and he started saying Grizzy Hendrix wrote my shit and that was a new narrative and in a way it's like okay so now you're acknowledging that the diss was good when before you said it was whack because now i have to have a ghostwriter in order to do it and you just see it's like someone who just throws shit at a wall and he just sees what sticks and if it doesn't stick then it'll just change the narrative and it'll just change it again and change it again and change it again instead of sticking with the foundation and the structure on it like he just did right here with ren like shitting on him in the comments and then because ren gave him some time and attention he's gonna flip it back now all right you're feeling mixed in your emotions like a horny ex-wife the reason people don't fuck with you is because you were shy Oh, you a big dog? Well, I'm a sick puppy. Mm. I slap you daft, you little punk. That's how you get lucky. Because if you lose, you're still... I slap you Daft Punk, that's how you get lucky. Daft Punk has a song, Get Lucky. I love the Daft Punk shout out, but also he's going to slap you Daft, you're just a punk. He plays off of him being a sick dog, he's a sick boy. You think you're the big dog off the chain here. Very cool, and then also you can call a dog Lucky. Smooth scheme right there. Sick puppy, I slap you Daft, you little punk. That's how you get lucky. Because mm. if you lose, you're still winning, it's clear. More views on your diss than your whole career. So come... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's so true, though. Like, at, at the end of the day, I've been dissed plenty of times. I've had plenty of rappers come at me that I've just, you know, ignored. Because the second that you give them attention, you know. It's sort of like the Eminem MGK scenario when he rapped about it. Like, the second that you respond, you are therefore giving them that attention that they crave and that they seek. And you're going to give them a boost because people are going to be curious. And people love, you know, drama. They love controversy. They want to see battles. It's like modern-day gladiators. So, of course, you're going to drive them traffic. Ren, just spitting facts right here. More views on your diss than your whole career. Mm. So come... <laughs> I'm actually sorry about this one, daughter. Oh, shit. I'm, I'm sorry. So come on, fatty, keep up. You're losing the race. Your YouTube views lower than your calorie intake. Stop watching what I'm doing and start watching your weight. I'll kick down your front door screaming, put down the cake. Little steak. <laughs> you don't need a diet. Ren's going to put you on that forced diet. <laughs> on the cake but obviously again like you have someone who just has been at it for six years his views aren't there what he's doing isn't there so what's he doing now he's starting to diss everyone he possibly can throwing shots here throwing shots there at everyone who's bigger than him who he thinks can get them attention and i'm gonna just like sidebar this real quick and just give some advice for if you want to take this path if this is the route you want to go down one you got to understand that immediately the narrative is going to be against you so you got to figure out how to flip that but then two look at who you go after because you're going after someone like Ren, who's about community building and about such a positive message. Do you really think you're going to get a lot of fans from that with the music that you make and what you do by attacking people, by constantly getting involved in battles and trying to bully others? Like, go find other artists that are like that and challenge them to battles at least. So you have like a translation over to your fan base. It's not even like a smart marketing move and perspective from there. Anyways, advice over. I'm, so, I'm sorry. So come on, fatty, keep up. You're losing the race. Your YouTube views lower than your calorie intake. Like that YouTube views. He's just got a great way of like accentuating what he's saying with his just performance delivery. You know, it's it's like West End meets rapping when you get it from Ren. He's just so captivating on the camera. I'm actually sorry about this one, daughter. I'm I'm sorry. So come on, fatty, keep up. You're losing the race. Your YouTube views lower than your calorie intake. Stop watching what I'm doing and start watching your weight. I'll kick down your front door screaming, put down the cake. Little steak on my plate, you're starting beef, but it's butchered. Because you're mm. butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. How could you? Butchering the culture, you ain't brewing kombucha. I love just the flip off the butchering and then little steak on the plate, like taking off from his plate versus having a wrap beef. So steak to beef scheme. And then he's saying, you you ain't brewing something hot here. You're not brewing that hot tea. Flip that kombucha on you. Starting beef, but it's butchered because you're butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. How could you have kids, man?
but also you ain't brewing. Brewing tea, come butcher. Like, come here and get butchered in a sense. So he's got a smooth little kombucha flip right there. But it's butchered because you're butchering the culture. You ain't brewing kombucha. How could you have kids, man? You're hardly a looker. I wonder how much it costs to buy a surrogate hooker. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. <laughs> he knows. I love how he knows like some of these are vicious and he just he just laughs about it because he's just he's having fun with the scenario and situation. But uh, yeah, you know, man is uh, man is not going to make the cover of any gentleman's magazines. That's uh, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> oh, so nobody wants to have kids with this man. So first off, he has to pay a hooker just to hook up with him. And then second, if he wants to have children, he's got to find a hooker who's willing to be a surrogate as well. Wow. That's a, that's a levels deep. How much it costs to buy a surrogate hooker? <laughs> I'm sorry, dog. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I'm only joking. It's only hip hop. Time to take my dick out of your mouth and pull my zip up. I'm sure Michelle Show will be obliged to clean the shit up. Then bend over backwards while you're looping from the tip up. Oh. Michelle, the filter's weird and your channel is dead. It's like I'm watching Pokemon, but ugly with dreads. This ain't a battle, it's a fucking massacre. <laughs> Wow. Stray shots just fired at the Michelle show. I'm going to have to check my Pokedex on this one. You've been from the tip up. And kind of reminds me of my, my stand skit at the start right there when he gets into the uh, the sexual sequences and schemes. And then he shots fired at Michelle for the uh, the filter. And listen, here's what I'll say on the, uh, the Michelle show. Like for my fans that have gone over there and I'm seeing like a lot of comments and stuff like, please keep in mind, this dude is a hater. All right. Is he a good hater? Yes. He's he's hilarious. He's got very good editing. He's a funny dude. Like he can roast the shit out of anyone and anything if you give it to him. But at the same time, remember what you're getting with him. Like there's also a lot of flip-flopping involved. There's a lot of drama stirring. There's a lot of things that are created and, you know, manufactured for the sake of entertainment. Like even right now, like dude made, I don't know, like six, seven videos on me, hating on me. And now all of a sudden he loves me and he's like overhyping me. And now it's an opposite extreme. And you could just see kind of how he's setting this up, like stirring the drama further. Because now it makes sense. Like overhype me. He can tell that the internet's with me right now. There's a pulse kind of on my side. So then he can like, if Dada does respond and drop, then he can remanufacture this as a great comeback story and a great underdog rising up against all odds. And you can just see kind of how he's putting the pieces on the board. So you just got to like stay ahead of people like that and understand how they set up games and how they play things. Because yeah, now I'm getting like massively overhyped and it's like, hang on. My pen hasn't changed that much. Like the shit that I'm doing has not adjusted that far in such a short amount of time for all of a sudden you to completely 180 and change things. But the man is a hater. That's, that's what he does. And that's okay too. Like there's light and there's dark kind of in us all in the shadows. And there's some people who like watch that and kind of enjoy that distraction. They enjoy that drama. They take comfort in it. And you know, if it's doing something positive for people, I can't fucking knock it. Let's keep it rolling. Lies to clean the shit up. Then bend over backwards while you're looping from the tip up. Michelle, the filter's weird and your channel is dead. It's like I'm watching Pokemon, but ugly with dreads. This ain't a battle, it's a fucking massacre. You're on my planet Earth. I am David Attenborough. Blood sucking Dracula with Paris. Ren saving planet Earth with a David Attenborough bars? Come on. Massacre. You're on my planet Earth. I am David Attenborough. Blood sucking Dracula with parasite vernacular collateral. I run up black and battle star galactica. Uh. I didn't even. Blood sucking Dracula with da, 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 da. That was a very dope flow for no beat to just dive into those multi syllables, man. I love that delivery. Parasite vernacular collateral. I run up like I'm Battlestar Galactica. Mm. Uh. I didn't even make a beat for this shit. You're not worth the fucking time, dot. Are you last on the list? Ooh. I wrote this in 10 minutes with a flick of the wrist. I speak about five syllables. You cease to exist. So real. Maybe think twice, my friend, about. Cease to exist. I mean. I love even the trolling right there. Like, I'm so big, right? I've got a career that I'm building, that I'm doing. Like, I don't have that much time to dedicate to you. I'm not even going to make a beat for you because that's just way too much time. You're lucky you're getting my attention just for this. And I'm just going to rush through this and still show you what I'm capable of when I'm not even really trying. About five syllables, you cease to exist so real. Maybe think twice, my friend, about stepping to the mark in the world of rent. Because you were just a rodent and it's mice and men. Crushing skulls like I'm Lenny, tail of Jenny again. Instead of Jenny, it's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Tire screech while I drive by and violet the range. You're just part of them. No, he just didn't. I love that flip on his discography right there. 
right? Tales of Jenny and Screech, Violet's Tale. So he had those three drops in there while also having a dope Of Mice and Men bars because Lenny in Of Mice and Men, Lenny's the one kills Curly's wife. Lenny doesn't understand how to control his own strength, right? So Lenny crushing skulls in this case. Ren is crushing skulls, flipping it, calling Dotto a rodent, calling him a rat. And this is a world of doggy dog Of Mice and Men and Ren is Darwin on top of the evolutionary chain right now. Dip with the blade, tie a screech while I drive by, I'm Violet Deranged. Right, I'm Violet Deranged. Like, it, it sounds like he could be saying he's Violent Deranged, but he like slant rhymed that to sound like Violet shouting out Violet, and then the tires are screeching as he goes past while well, he's also shouting out Screech, and then shouting out Jenny before, and then, you know, Jenny getting stabbed, but in this case, it's Dada who's getting stabbed with the lyrical knife on this. Very dope flips and symbolism. It's a daughter on the tip of the blade. Tie a screech while I drive by. I'm violet the range. You're just part of a machine against you. I will rage. And I'm killing in the name of a king that I slayed. Bully. Mm, killing in the name of a king that I slayed. Rage. He's raging against the machine. Also shouting out rage against the machine. Killing in the name. Come on. Against you. I will rage. And I'm killing in the name of a king that I slayed. Bully, I've seen you dissing Dwayne and then crit, miss a kill shot on Knox because you're bitter as shit. Then you made the big mistake. You put me on. Miss a kill shot of Knox. And this is really what, like, the origin story is of this whole situation. Like, I dropped my song Kill Shot, and he thought it was a diss against him. And we went so far where I even literally told him point blank, like, I. I I, I don't know who you are. I, I don't know that people call you the boogeyman. Like, the only boogeyman I know is Broadnecks. Like, I literally told this dude in the comment section, I didn't diss you. So what does he do? Still sees it as an opportunity and runs away with it. But if you look at his history and all the other artists that he's calling out, like, I think he really just, like, sits on Michelle's show all day, watches who Michelle disses, and then he's like, all right, I'm going to diss him too because they're obviously bigger, and I'm just going to, like, try to capitalize on this hate train. And he's just, like, throwing shit at the wall again, just, like, seeing who will grab it, who will grab it, and just trying to bully people. And I've seen him like bully other reactors as well when he sees reactions that he doesn't like like he'll share that he'll call people out he'll just constantly like attack 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 hoping someone's gonna bite back kill shot a nox because you're bitter as shit but also like you missed your kill shot you missed your opportunity that also shouts me out at the end of stan i say he missed his shot there's some levels to this right here while he's shouting me out too i appreciate that ran shout out to you man then he made the big mistake you put me on the list i'm a fucking psychopath though i don't take the piss Irrelevant rapper wasting my time. People only heard of you because of this rhyme. Oh, you're a murderer. That's so cool, my guy. Got your time in the spotlight, so enjoy the shine. Nice. I love the way that he uses like his change in tone and enunciation here to like flip an internal to external scheme. Oh, wasting my time. Fucking psychopath thought I don't take the piss. Look at that look. Irrelevant rapper. Irrelevant rapper. That's like, I'm Batman. I'm red. It's in my time. People only heard of you because of this rhyme. Only heard of you because of this rhyme. So heard of you, rhyme. You're a murderer. Murderer. That's so cool, my guy. My guy. Got your time in the spotlight, so enjoy the shine. Wait. Wait. I genuinely mean it when I say you should shine. Mm. I just played you at your game, so welcome to mine. I want all of my fans to show Dot at the time because he's actually sick at rapping. Go and like and subscribe. Wow. There's a new kind of culture in this world of division where we bicker over politics and race and religion. There is war, there is peace. That's a human decision. Hang on, there's a new counterculture. I like this line. Where we bicker over politics. There's a new kind of culture in this world of division where we bicker over politics and race and religion. There is war, there is peace, that's a human decision. Mm. Either you could be my brother or another collision. And the media, they love it when we hate each other. Mm. Cause the money lines their pockets if you're not my brother. Mm. And this black versus white, that's divide and conquer. Mm. Ignorance, it is formed in the womb of monsters. If I mean, so true and just... I love how all of a sudden there's this tonal change. Like he walks away from the camera and you can see like his expression is changing, his mannerism is changing, and his whole tone has changed. Like he's now just completely flipped the script on this battle. It's almost like, yeah, 
Here's what I can do if I'm in battle mode. But now I'm going to give you some of my message. I'm going to give you some of my truth and what I stand for. And he is just preaching right now. And we've talked about this on this channel. I think this is why Ren and I are kind of kindred spirits in this sense. Because, you know, we can see the bigger game that's being played here on the on the chessboard with these institutions and the media and the hyperpolarization of the Internet that constantly wants us divided, that wants us at war, bickering, arguing with each other because then we're distracted. And our true power is in uniting. Our true power is in coming together. And being able to rise above these divisions and to realize the corruption and where it lies and to work to change that. Man, I love this flip here. Wow. I didn't conquer. Never thought I would see this on a on a battle rap rebuttal. Ignorance it is formed in the womb of monsters. If there's war in the east and the streets are getting paid, if there's war in the streets, there's a mother at a grave. Mm. If I pander to my ego, then I'm just another slave. A casualty of vanity, hate just breeds hate. So don't oh, a casualty of vanity of vanity and pride and so many battles and beefs and controversies and wars are originate from vanity and people can't put their pride aside if there's war in the east and the streets are getting paid if there's war in the streets there's a mother at a grave and yeah war generates profits like the wartime industry is massive you know you have multinational corporations that produce guns and ammunition making so much money because of the war in the east right now it could be war in the east ukraine war in the east like the middle east and what's going on if there's war in the east and the streets are getting paid if there's war in the streets there's a mother at a grave if i pander to my but there's still collateral damage there's still a mother at a grave there's still families being torn and forever separated and lives you can't get back from that war in the east and the streets are getting paid if there's war in the streets there's a mother at a grave if i pander to my ego then i'm just another slave a casualty of vanity hate just breeds hate so daughter mm. i think i gotta leave it at that because i'm not a battle rapper but i do like to rap mm. now a million new eyes will be on where you're at i hope you roll with it my friend put yourself on the map daughter daughter is sick wow oh and he plays the bagpipes you know what i just thought about though because the bagpipes play, and then you think back to the, the funeral procession he had at the beginning, and he was holding those flowers. And like I commented, like those flowers for me represented, you know, mourning. But actually, those flowers have now been flipped in terms of their visual meaning and metaphor, because now he's giving Dada some flowers, and he's giving Dada an opportunity. I really find this interesting how Ren went into attack mode, like I talked about, showed what he could do. But then he's like, nah, there's still something greater that I stand for and that I represent with my music and what I'm doing. And I'm still going to try to be the rising tide that uplifts all boats and even give this dude who's been going around doing so much hate, right? Trying to bully people, going after other content creators. I'm still going to shout him out because he's not a bad rapper because I see talent. I see opportunity there. I mean, that is a huge flip. And now the thing is, it's, it's almost like you bury someone, but now you're giving them a lifeline. You know, you're helping them back up. You're helping them rise up and climb right now. And I just think that speaks levels to Ren's character. And from Dada's perspective, well, now he's got a decision to make. Because now he's got Ren's fans who are having hit their eyes on him. You know, they might be skeptical of him and what he does. And it's like, how does he proceed from here, right? And if it's from my perspective, are you going to proceed and continue to tear down and diss people? When you have a huge community that's willing to support you who's about uplifting and helping others, right? Are you going to continue to try to build your name off of climbing other people's backs to do it and tearing those down around you? Or are you going to take this opportunity to get into the lab and make like original music that you can push, that you can show people what you're capable of? Because that's what I would do. I would take this opportunity, get in the lab and try to make the hottest track I could possibly put together and really capitalize on this opportunity right now and really appreciate and step back and see the bigger picture of who's watching and the type and nature of the community that's there to support you but everyone's different everyone has their motives in terms of my situation and my background i know you guys have been like wondering how i see sort of the playing field so i'm going to give you some of my response now as a reactor and as a breakdown artist because obviously i put it on wax obviously i've talked about it so here's here's what i see one i dropped my kill shot remix right you ran away with it. You started telling people that I dissed you. There were some reactors that you're close with that also were hyping it up as a diss, trying to stir the pot and create drama. We were even on a comment section where I saw you commenting. So I'm like, you know what? Okay, I don't really know this dude, but I see him right here. I'm going to respond to him. I'm going to let him know. I didn't diss you. And I told you that to your face. I still have that receipt, 
right? I don't know about how you operate or how other people operate, but to me, there's a lot of gossip that happens. There's a lot of drama on the internet. But when I reach out to someone directly and I speak to them, I like to take them at their word. That's just respect for a fellow MC, respect for this game. What did you do? Instead of taking my word for it, instead of taking what I told you, you still ran with it. Then you tried to say I was a liar. And then, even then, like a week later, it took you to drop a diss track on me. Two, when we look at the way things are operating within this game, you say that you do things for the love of the culture. You say you do things for the sake of, of hip-hop, right? You enjoy competition. You enjoy battling. But your first response to me was not challenging to battle or putting it out in that way or trying to do it for the sake of competition. Your first response was digging through my old videos, trying to find an old video of me where you could paint me as this racist and literally trying to get me canceled. Like you literally tried to hurt my career. You tried to take food off of my table that I provide for my family. That's not really in the spirit and love and competition of community within hip hop, is it? Before you ever dropped a disc, before you did anything like that. Three, you gotta appreciate that reactors talk, right? We, we have a community for a reason. We try to support each other. We give each other advice. Whenever a reactor reaches out to me, I'm always here to help and to uplift. And reactors can see how things go. There are reactors that you reached out to that you offered to pay them to react to your diss of me. But that then is not a genuine reaction because they're being influenced by money. You know, there's other reactors who can recognize when they're on live streams, when they're doing chats, when a fake account comes through trying to like pay to get an artist reacted to. And then the artist shows up, right? And is like, where's this reaction of me? You know, it's not that hard to put two and two together. So... What is genuine and in the spirit of the culture when you're trying to basically manufacture a beef and you're trying to influence reactions of a diss track that you drop? Not even like trying to promote your own music, your own original music. Like you're paying them to try to promote this beef that isn't real, that isn't there. How is that in the spirit of what we do as MCs? Four, you then started attacking my fans when they didn't agree with you. You started coming after them. I have TMs for my fans and screenshots of you like going in their DMs, attacking them in the comment section, like just like trying to belittle them as much as possible, like trying to attack another artist's fans just because they don't agree with you. But honestly, amidst all of this, I wasn't even going to respond because it just comes with the territory at this point. I realize that the more I grow, the more hate that I'm going to get. And you're not the first artist to have done this to me. But then you got into a battle with my friend Ren, right? And you set it up. So you're supposed to drop a diss track on Ren. But you couldn't help yourself, could you? Because you diss me in that diss track that's supposed to be for Ren. Like, you still took shots at me. You went after me. So at that point, it's just kind of like, all right, you know what? Things have built up at this point in time. Like, there's lines you don't cross. Fuck it. I'm going to respond finally. And that's what I did. I responded to your Ren diss. And guess what happened? Within the same day, the same 24-hour period, I clapped back again with patiently waiting. I came through a second time because I didn't get a response. I mean, at the end of the day, it's not like I'm the one who asked for this fight. I'm not the one who asked for the beef. I'm not the one who tagged me at least like 50 to 100 times on social media over the weeks trying to get my attention. So if you step back from a situation and you think about it, right, I'm going after someone. I'm tagging them. I'm trying to get a response. They finally respond. I better be ready to respond back. All of this narrative changing like, oh, look now it's two on one. Like I'm getting bullied. I'm getting jumped. Well, you're the one who called Ren out. You're the one who called me out. All of a sudden it gets flipped back on you. And it's just like excuse after excuse for that situation. And as far as like rebuttaling an MC, like there's things that I do for the love of this culture. When the as is situation happened, I clap back within 12 hours, you know, and I wasn't a full time YouTuber then. I was working two fucking jobs, right? And I still clap back within a 12 hour time period. Same with I got time today with how quickly I turn things around because there's just a certain code and a certain love for the craft. And it's obvious to me since it's been, what, over 150 plus hours now, that we're just not operating on the same level and same understanding. And given Ren's response, and given the way he wants to turn this to a positive in the end, you know what, I agree with that. Because I also want a community build. It's easy to make a diss track. It's easy to go in on someone. Like, any rapper can sound really good making disses against others because that's just the nature of battles. Like, people, like, feed off of diss battles. But that's not what I want to build. That's not the community I want to nurture. 
I want to uplift. So from my perspective, I'm bringing you new music this week. Half of all streaming and download revenues will be going to support the youth organizations of my local area of PG County, which is just there's so many youths that don't have the same opportunities that fall to crime, that fall to gangs, that fall to drugs. So I want to help uplift and do something positive through my music and what I'm doing. And that's my way of progressing and moving forward. I'm going to start a GoFundMe for that too. If you guys want to contribute to the GoFundMe for the song, I will post that with the song and that will be my focus and my way of responding to all this within this week. And as for you, Dot, and how you respond, you're welcome to respond in whatever way that you see fit, my man. At the end of the day, you've got a new community with a lot of eyes on you. So the ball's kind of in your court. If I was you, I would definitely put in my time and effort to making like the best, most fire original track that I can and show people what I stand for as an artist. Or you could take the route of, you know, continuing to want to diss, continuing to want to tear people down. But the ball is in your court for that. And in the spirit of what Ren's doing and uplifting others, if you want to go and drop a very fire original track, you really want to put your time into it to promote it, then you know what? I'm happy to break it down. I'm happy to do it non-biasedly. I've done it before. I've done it on plenty of other artists. You guys know. I've, I've done it with Crypt and his diss and me. I've done it with others. I'm happy to step back from the situation, put on the hat of a breakdown rapper, and just break things down and break down the music and give that analysis. That's the olive branch that I'm extending. Anyways, guys, I love you. Stay safe. Stay positive. It's one only Knoxville. You know, I'll catch you again.